Let's start with view proxy. View proxy is created in application layer. So view proxy for HANA view can only be created using the ABAP development tools. So the developers cannot go to SC11 in your GUI and try to create the view proxy. It's not possible. So this is a new feature which has to be created using the HANA Studio ADT or the Eclipse ADT. The view structure can be checked in SC11 using the GUI or you can also check it using the ADT. View proxy in the application layer is an alter ego of HANA view at the database layer. So what does that mean? Alter ego. What does it mean? It means your other self. So the next line will be make it clear. So view proxy can be considered the twin image of HANA model views. And the view proxy is a way to perform the code to data push. So what does code to data push means? That means you are writing a code in the application layer, but the execution should happen at the database layer. Therefore, you are moving the code to the database. Therefore, it is code to data. It is code is in application layer, data is in database layer. So code to data push means you ex execute it in the application layer, but you want the execution to happen in the database layer so that you can take full advantage of the in-memory HANA database. The last line in green which says that view proxy is a medium to talk to database layer from a BAP layer. Yes, so view proxy is a proxy of the HANA model. So it gives us the authority to access the HANA models from the ABAP layer using the proxy. Let me tell you one more time in layman's language. So whenever we create a HANA model, the HANA model can be an attribute view or an analytical view or the calculation view. For that model, we can create a corresponding view in the ABAB layer and that view is called a view proxy. That view proxy is the image of the HANA model. So whatever you want to do with the HANA model, you can do with that with the proxy. So if that HANA model is to retrieve data from some tables, the view proxy will give you those table output. You can say that the HANA models are for the modelers to create, while the view proxy is for the technical folks like ABAPers to consume and play around with. In the next slides, when we create a view proxy corresponding to the HANA models, you will get more clarity. For now, you just imagine the view proxy to be the mirror image of the HANA models.